Paint 66, Dark Eyes. Now they're trying to introduce a technique in piano. It's called, so you call it all kinds, of, I don't care what you call it. They're calling the up arm stroke and arm impulse. Basically what it is, it's a hip bounce. You play the first note and then allow your arm to bounce, which plays the second note. There's a problem with that. You have to be very careful. Where's the natural accent, if there is one? Is it on the short note? Is it a ba -da? Or is it on the second note? Ba -da. Uh, so if you're going to bounce it like that, make sure you give the right note a little more than the other note, a little more oomph. You're not going to give them the same amount. Right? It's either the first or the second. You have to be very careful about what you're doing there. For instance, in the preparatory study, in the second measure, they've got that square bracket over the over those two notes, the sixteenth note and the quarter note. That's to tell you those are the hit bounce. And it's not part of the music. This is something the editor is stuck in as, as a part of this educational experience, right? You're not going to see this in music as a, as a symbol. So it's just telling you the sixteenth note and the quarter note is you hit the sixteenth note and then you bounce to play the quarter note. But the quarter note gets a little more oomph than the sixteenth note. So it's da da! And all of them like that in the preparatory study, they're all that way. Then they say we well, can use that technique in dark eyes, but in looking at dark eyes, dark eyes generally it's, it's between the eighth note and a, followed by a quarter note. Right? So the note value isn't what counts, it's the, it's the pattern. Da -da. Dark Eyes Animato is rather quick. So it would be, just as an example, that's what they're suggesting, and that's fine if that's what you want to do. I don't think I ever use a, a hit bounce technique. Teacher explained to me once, one of my college professors, said he used it once in a performance in a recital in a Beethoven the Pathetic Sonata at the beginning, and it didn't work out so well. Uh, nerves or whatever got in the way. You know, you, it doesn't work so well when you get nervous or things. Right? So it's kind of dangerous. But if you want to try it out, by all means, go for it. Now we're going to do dark eyes together, but we're not going to go that fast. All right? We're going to go really, really slow. About 80. About a quarter note equals 80. This is how we're going to do it. So we're going to go slow. And at that speed, you're not going to do a bounce, a hit bounce method. As far as the pedaling goes, put it down right after the notes where it's marked to go down and lift it up so we can hear the staccatos on the notes when it lifts up if necessary. Measure uh, 3. You'd lift the pedal up at the beginning of the measure so we can hear the staccatos on the first beat. The same thing continues that way. You get over to measure 13. The, you know, they don't end with a staccato there. So there you're going to lift it up just so we can get a little bit of silence before the phrase, before the C sharp. Oh, and, that, and play the next one the same way too. So, if there's a staccato, we want to hear it, otherwise you hold it out for the full count, but we still want to silence before the next note starts. Watch the fingering very carefully. Uh, on measure 30 at the bottom, on page 6 to 7, look at the right hand, you're here, and then you have a G flat and an E flat, F, D, E flat, C. And if you want to use a 1-5 on all those, that's fine. So, 3-4 time with a 2-beat pickup. So I'll give you 4 counts. Let's play this together. Right hand here. Left hand. Foot's on the pedal. 1, 2, 3, go.